Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia. Today I am here to film a super brief one take video in which I show you how I took the guts from an Erin Condren binder um, and made them into a yearly loose leaf bound Erin Condren life planner. I haven't seen anyone else who has done this, maybe someone has, but I was super excited about this because I uh, was not able to purchase the binder in the first offering because they ran out of the hourly neutral. So I bought the guts from someone in an online um, Aaron Kundren binder fans group. And so that didn't include like the face page and stuff like that. It, the first six months, I did go ahead and put together into a disc-bound system, which there are plenty of YouTubers out there who have made videos. Um, you just look at those, and, and I did that. And that worked okay, but it was a big hassle, actually. And I find that the Erin Condren paper, I think because it is so luxurious, um, I'm having trouble keeping the rings, keeping the paper on the rings. So... I was trying to figure out what to do with these pages. Now I have since ordered my own binder with all of the things, but I thought maybe this would just be a fun experimental piece. So all I did, let me just show you. Um, this was an old cover. Uh, this is I think the Ojoy collection. It's got rose gold sea foam blush and like a lilac color. Um, there are the eight Erin Condren spaced holes and I just bought um, loose leaf binder rings, which you can buy these on Amazon. These are rose gold. Um, I can't remember the brand name. I would not advise buying these. Um, they were actually a box of 50. I had eight that were usable and I got a refund for the rest. So if you take a look at this, um, sorry, you hear my dogs running around. I didn't want to create them for this. Um, this is approximately a one inch ring. You just kind of open it and then click it closed. And all I did literally was take a bunch of these um, and run it through the Erin Condren pages. And then I went ahead and added a cover and you could use any cover that you have as long as it's punched. There go the dogs. Um, and I did, you know, you can have it so that the, uh, the rings kind of move. Um, they do offer, like there's a plain silver set. It is kind of funny when you move one, they all move, which I'm sure that's physics. Then I never took physics. I teach English. Uh, but yeah, there are some really pretty options. There are like metallic multicolor rings, which I purchased. I also purchased some silver ones that haven't come in yet. But I wanted to just show you, um, first of all, that it's really flexy. Second, that when you're flipping through, the pages flip really nicely. You do have that space in between. You could, I mean, what, what, what this does not permit that the binder does is you can't just open each one of these and pop the pages out the way you can with the binder. You have to open each of them individually. And like I said, some of these, that's a real ordeal. But if you do have the binder and you find that you're not in love with it, or you want something, like if you're gonna travel, for example, maybe, and you want to take your planner but don't wanna take the whole binder, um, these, the box of, boxes of these tend to be like 50 or 100 rings, and they're between like seven and $12, so they're not expensive. Um, but what they do allow is if you take even, um, if you took apart a notebook or something, and decided you wanted to add some pages to your life planner, um, you're only limited by the size of the rings. And again, what I was most excited about, right, since these are extra, is this whole little movement here, right? These pages flip so nicely, nothing's popping out. And if you did want to go ahead and travel with this, right, and if these got wrecked, you can you can replace them really easily. I'm sure this fake rose gold is going to also wear off really, really really, really quickly, but, um, you know, it's easy enough to carry it around. It seems like it's holding up okay. Uh, I haven't, you know, bounced it really hard. Just, well, I guess that does work okay. Sorry, that's really annoying. Um, but you see, um, it just depends on how well these rings line up. Um, and this batch, again, the rose gold, 
uh, the box of all rose gold binder rings on Amazon is just a bunch of junk. So I would advise against that unless you just like frustration. And you can buy these in one inch, one in 1.18 inches, one and a half, and two. So like if you had coiled together um, your life planner and some like notebook pages or all 18 months of the of the binder pages, right? This is the inch, I think this is the 1.18. Um, this would get really full really quickly if you added stickers. So what this does permit also is if you wanted to do that, you could just swap out rings as the planner gets bigger. So again, since it's six minutes, um, that's probably about as long as I'm going to go. I was just really excited um, because when I was thinking about what to do with these pages, now that I've got my binder coming, these might just end up being spare parts for the binder. But it is nice if you want to flip stuff around, if you want to you know, carry it, you, it's, you still have a little bit of that problem if you're a righty that you're running up against the rings. Um, but what it doesn't do that I'm having the problem with my, with my rings, um, my discs, excuse me, my discs are causing problems to the, the Erin Condren paper. And I think this wouldn't be the case, right? There's enough of them that the eight, as much as this frustrates me still, the eight, Dis dispersing the force or whatever of the paper over the eight rings um, means that you won't get tears. I did try taking a teacher planner apart and putting it on a three ring binder. That was a mess. Same problem that I was just talking about. Three points of failure, like one, two, three, meant that I had a lot of tearing with the, uh, with the three ring binder system. But I think this is something that even if you don't do it all the time, if you have the binder and you're not if you're having a difficult difficult time with the size of the binder, if you want something that's maybe a little more portable or something that's even just different and fun and customizable, right? I just love being able to grab it and flip it around this way. And uh, and it, it doesn't add bulk. So I do hope you find this useful. Um, if you do, please go ahead and give my video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Um, my channel, as you see, is small but mighty, and uh, we're always looking for good people to watch. I do have my Erin Condren referral link down below if you're a brand new Erin Condren customer um, that would get you $10 off your first purchase. Most of you probably are coming here because you're already Erin Condren fans. So I just like to mention that it is there. Um, and I, I really, I think this could be really cool. I think you could decorate this with pretty little charms. You could even like hook two charm, two rings together with charms. There's so many things you can do. Um, but one more option for people who have the binder, love the binder, or maybe have the binder, don't love the binder, or just have the binder and want to try other things. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.